different kinds, some with googly eyes. Big noses! Big mouths! Crazy feathers! Wild colors! Weird ears! Blinky eyes! Funny faces! How about this funny face? The creature caller. We picked it up in Madagascar, and it's supposed to be able to call creatures. Hey, you want to try calling a lemur? Let's see if it works. Hey, ooh, hubba, hubba. Ah, ah. Sounded more like a moose. Let's try calling them the regular way. Yeah. Sabuma foo! Zabu! Hey, Zabu! Taking them so long. Zabu, Zabu, you made it. So Zabu, why do you have that funny white patch of fur on your nose? Zabu, I'll get you a snack. How you doing, buddy? Okay, let's get Zabu something to eat. Uh -oh. Broken again, but we can fix it. Okay, there's the problem. I fixed it all right. Banana pudding, my favorite. Here you go. Thanks. I'll keep working on the snack machine. And I'll keep looking at Zabu's funny face. So Zabu, how do you make your ears wiggle like that? I can't make my ears wiggle like Zabu can. Can you? Hey, Zabu! I've got some sweet potato! Do you want a piece? There you go. Is it good, Zab? <laughs> hey, Martin. Look at the funny face he makes when he chews. <laughs> yeah. Give me some of the Hi there, how you doing? A food face can be a funny face. And I am Vuki, and you have a funny face. What do you mean, Tom? Well, for one thing, you don't even have fur in your nose. <laughs> and neither do you. <laughs> All creatures make funny faces every now and then. I just remembered, I saw another funny face on my way here. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> This animal who I did see, can you help me guess this mystery? This little creature was hungry, and he was looking at leaves. Yummy! Who could it be? This animal who I did see. He stuck his funny face in the water, and we went for a swim. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He's a long-legged, big-eared, funny-faced creature. 
Roger. Do you know who he is? Okay, let's see. He made a funny face. Long legs and knobby knees. Made a sound. I know who it is. Do you? I bet you can guess. A moose! <gasps> Baby moose are really shy, so let's take it nice and easy. How are you doing? Oh, mystery animal's here, yeah, yeah. Oh, and he's got a funny face, but not as funny as mine. <laughs> I wonder what he's looking for. Place to lie down. Why do you think he's tired, Martin? Maybe he walked a long way on those long legs with knobby knees. <laughs> yeah, that would get me tired. I don't know why he's tired, but I know he has a funny face. Look at this long face. That is a funny face. <laughs> I like his soft little nose. Look at this. <laughs> Look at his funny ears. They're big. <laughs> You're right, Zob. He has big ears for a little guy. I wonder what he's looking for. What are you looking for, buddy? Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? How about some milk? <laughs> oh, he's gonna love this. Here, want some milk? Wow, he's hungry. He's a rough and tough milk drinker. Hold on tight, Chris. You can get dizzy just watching him. Oh, he's really pulling. This moose will drink about a bottle and a half of milk every day. Whoa. He's really slurping it down, that's awesome. Yeah, slurpy. <laughs> Listen to the slurping sounds he makes. He loves that milk. But I wonder what he's doing here. You called him. Oh, yeah. The creature caller made the moose call. It did. Wah! The moose calf came when he heard the moose sound, because moose have great hearing. Those ears move in all different directions to pick up all kinds of sounds. Hey, check it out. What's he up to now? Hmm? My lemur sense is tingling. Baby Moose is looking for something. Oh, what could it be? <laughs> Help you look, Baby Moose. <laughs> Baby Moose has a funny face. If you think his face is funny, you should see his mom's. Her face is funnier because her nose is longer. And she has a long piece of skin and fur that hangs down under her chin. It's called a dewlap. What's a dewlap for? Nobody knows. But his mom has one. Where is his mom? Yeah. This moose is about one month old, so his mom can't be too far away. She must be around here somewhere. Whoa! Ugh. I, I meant to do that. I don't see a mother moose. No moose? Don't see a moose, Mom. I think maybe Baby Moose misses his mom. I think you're right, Zabu. He's too young to be on his own. We've got to find a way to get him back to his mom. I know. The creature caller. You used it to call Baby Moose. You can put it on and call Mom Moose. Great idea. Come on, Zab. Hey, I really hope this plan of theirs works. Time for the creature caller. All right, let me just get this up. You all set, Martin? Oh, yeah. Toothbrush! I must have accidentally made an elephant call instead of a moose call. Toothbrush has a funny face. Funny face! <laughs> And the reason an elephant has a funny face well, is because he has a very long nose called a trunk. Toothbrush is my funny face friend. He can use his funny face to grab leaves from high places. Oh, so he doesn't even have to jump up there. That's right, Zob. And you know what else? Both an elephant and a moose pack away huge amounts of twigs and leaves. The leaves are yummy, but twigs? Blech. <laughs> this one-month-old moose loves twigs. Right now, he eats about two branches a day. But when he becomes an adult moose, in one day, he will eat an entire 40-pound pile of leaves and twigs. Wow, is that a lot of food? You bet, Zob. 
You really like to eat twigs. I think I'll call you Twiggly. Well, I'll call him that because he likes twigs. Yeah, Twiggly, the wiggly nose, twig eater. Keep on eating, Twiggly. Come on, everybody, let's eat like a moose. Sore Zob, but Twiggly is eating all these leaves so he won't get sore. He has to eat a lot to get big and strong to be ready for the big antler battles when he grows up. It takes a big strong moose not to get beat up in these fights. And that's why a moose packs away a lot of plants, both on land and in the water. So, if the moose eats a lot of plants underwater, does he get a lot of water stuck up his nose? Come on in. No, because a moose can close his nostrils underwater. Huh. Another great feature for a great funny face. And a moose can feel around for plants underwater with his face like this. A moose uses his lips. His lips can feel around for plants? Yeah. And once those moose lips find the plants, those moose lips grab the plants. So a moose grabs with his funny face. You got it, Tom. <laughs> I'm starting to understand funny faces. Well, then you're ready for the proboscis monkey. They have huge noses. Wow, why so big? Well, to a proboscis monkey, a big nose is a beautiful nose. And don't forget about the eye eye. Those big ears can actually hear bugs in dead trees. Her big buck teeth bite through wood to get the bugs. And her big eyes can see in the dark. Every part of her funny face has a purpose. In the creature world, funny faces do amazing things. Yeah, just like one time in Sabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, leap, when all of a sudden, I heard a sniffling sound. I took one big leap and landed next to Narchi, who was standing next to Google and crying. What's the matter, Narchi? Why are you crying? <laughs> We're trying to play catch with the Goobleberry, but I can't throw because my arms are too stubby. <laughs> well, I said we could play another game, but uh, he wants to play catch. Nope. <laughs> <gasps> I've got an idea, Narchi. Don't use your arms to throw. Use your nose and blow. Oh, good idea. <laughs> oh, good idea, huh? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm ready. Uh, oh. hey, here we go. And I'm the lever in the middle. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, nice catch. <laughs> it worked. I can play. So we played oh, Goobleberry Catch oh, all day. And I was the lever in the middle. <laughs> oh. The end. Here, catch. <laughs> Brothers, I think Twiggly's hungry again. Twiggly eats a lot. This moose calf drinks a lot of milk. I hope his mom comes back soon. Because feeding a baby moose as much as he needs is a full-time job. That's best left to a mother moose. <laughs> Messy, too. Listen to that milk go down. I feel mooseish. How about you, mooseish? I'm feeling kind of moose-ish. Oh, that's it! Moo 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 moose -ish. I'm a big nose twig eater. I'm a baby moose. moose -ish. Twiggly really misses his mom. We have to find her. All right, we'll give this thing one more try. Oh, let me try. Come on, let me try it. I can do it. Okay, yeah, Zob. Can I? Oh, okay. Zob, you definitely have a funny face now. Hey, you ready? Yeah. Hey, oh, come on. Hey, hoo, hubba, hubba. Hey, hoo, hubba, hubba. Hey, hoo, hubba, hubba. Hey, hoo, hubba. Hey, hoo, hubba, hubba. Hey, hoo, hubba, hubba. Hey, hoo, hubba, hubba. How's that? No moose, Mom. Okay, mm -hmm. try again. Okay, here I go. Hey, hoo, 
And a baby bear. A lot of other creatures, but still no mother moose. <laughs> hey! Oh, I'm a, I'm a, hey. Oh. Did you hear that? <gasps> That's not me. Does that sound like a mother moose to you? Hey, there's Twiggly's mom. <laughs> Let's check it out. Yeah, that's her. All right. Hey, there goes Twiggly. Back to his mom. A moose and calf living free and in the wild. That's what we like to see. And he's drinking again. <laughs> Two funny faces back together again. Whoa. Incoming. Duck! It's not a duck. It's Moonface. Moonface is a bar now. Moonface has a funny face. And that funny face helps her hear. The round shape of a barn owl's face directs sound to the ears. Wow. Well, look, a scroll from Jackie. I love bats. They're great, and they have the funniest faces and ears. Those big ears help them hear even the quietest of sounds, like from insects. So if you like bats, what do you do to have more? Build a bat box. The best place to put a bat box is in a high tree. Is this good? Yeah. Come on! Now that it's dark, we should start to see some bats. And maybe some of those bats will move into our bat box and be our new neighbors. I can't wait. There are so many funny faces out there. Let's head out into the creature world and find them. <laughs> Sounds like a trip to me. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. Are you ready? Let's go. They're going to the closet to grab their Whoa! stuff and slip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. They're going on a cool adventure. And they, they don't, don't know what's in store. store. Oh, they're coming they're from the on. closet. Yeah, and they're yeah, headed they're out the door. See ya. See you, Zab. We're going around the world looking for funny creature faces. And every funny face has a reason for looking funny. Hey, who's that? A platypus. When a platypus swims underwater, he closes his eyes, but he doesn't get lost or bump into things. That's because his bill has nerve endings that help him get around underwater. Next stop, Africa! Africa's full of funny faces, like ostriches. Martin, funny face alert. Oh, now there is a pair of funny face creatures. Rhino cow with a big horn. And their calf, who doesn't even have a horn yet. Martin, we're surrounded by funny faces. Hey, that's a good looking creature. Hey, why is he looking at me like that? I don't know, but I hear a funny face calling. Hippo. See how the hippo's eyes, ears, and nostrils are at the top of her head? That's so she can still know what's going on above the water when most of her is underwater. But why are all the animals looking at us funny? <laughs> what are they staring at? Chris, that's it. The animals must think our faces are funny. Of course. We don't have fur, feathers, horns. As far as the animals are concerned, we're the ones with funny faces. <laughs> We don't even have beaks or shining tusks. I know, and we'll never be able to look forward to growing a horn like a baby rhino or a fisher. <laughs> well, you're just little guys, Something's aren't you? What's going on in there? Well, is this Do you want to company? find out what? Well, good. Come on. Yeah. Well, they'll be back soon. Well, hi, guys. There he is. <laughs> hey, Zabu, who's that you're with? Funny faces. Whoa, two baby parrots of different species together. Only an animal junction. Well, who are they? This is a baby macaw. 
And this is a baby cockatoo. Two different parrots, both with funny faces. <laughs> and they're both just growing in their feathers, Zop. That is a funny face. You know, one of the things that makes a parrot's face funny is that tongue in there. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I see it. You see it? Look at that funny face. Do you want to make faces like a cockatoo? Here we go. Hey, look at my funny baby cockatoo face. Yeah, no, 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 funny faces all around. Good job. Macaws actually use their faces to help them climb. They grab a hold of something with their beaks and pull themselves up. Look at how he's doing it. There are lots of different types of macaws. Red and green macaws also use their beaks to help them climb up cliffs where they eat clay. They use their feet, beaks, and tongue to break off yummy little pieces. So these chicks have funny faces, they make funny faces. But do you know why they make funny faces? Probably because they're hungry. You got it, Tov. Let's feed these funny faces. Yeah, yeah. Specially formulated food for parrot chicks. Oh, there it is. You guys are gonna love this. Uh, yeah, that's good, huh? Hey, Chris, you're good at this. Have you done it before? Oh, yes, I've done it lots of times. Oh, Martin, not so sloppy. Try and get some in his mouth. <laughs> I'm trying, Zob. Zob, look how this guy bobs his head when he eats. Oh, yeah. Bob, Bob. How come he does that? He's just trying to get it all down. <laughs> look at that tongue action. Come on, Gatsika, look how their tongues move. Hmm. <sighs> Their tongues are moving so fast, I can't believe my mind. All right, so now our funny faces, our sloppy faces, and their bellies are full. <laughs> they look happy now. So, are you guys full now? Hmm? Oh, good. Yeah, it was good food, huh? I can't believe how your tongue works. Yeah, no, I just have a regular tongue. Yeah, no, yours is very strange. Well, to me it is. Huh? You think I have a funny face? Well, I guess you're right. We all have funny faces. <laughs> yeah, but we still have one problem. What? Well, what are these two chicks doing here all alone? We have to find their parents. Huh? <laughs> well, I think they found us. Okay, here's your mom. Blue and gold macaw parents with their chin. Funny faces together again. Just like in Sabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. When I bounced into Sensen. <laughs> oh, 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 hi, Sabu. <laughs> hi, Sensen. <laughs> Sabu, we're bored. Yeah. We can't think of anything to do. Then Sensen <laughs> heard something. Hey, anybody who wants to make funny faces? <laughs> it's Google. He wants to know if we want to make funny faces. Oh, yeah, 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 yes, we do. Let's go. So we started running. Well, except for me. I left, of course, until we caught up with Google. <laughs> all right, you're here. Whoa, now let's all make funny faces. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 And we did. Each of us had our own special funny face. <laughs> they were all different. And they were all funny. <laughs> The end. I love all those funny faces in Zabu Land. What do you love best about today, Zabu? <laughs> what do you think? Funny faces! Zabu is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his climbing behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got
different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine, they jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today! Yeah! This funny face is going home. Bye guys! See you later, Zabu. Keep on leaping, lemur! You know, there are so many great funny faces in the creature world. So let's get out there and meet some more. Yeah. See ya. See ya! My name is Courtney. This is Cadbury. We call him Cadbury because he's brown, and we call him the Chocolate Easter Bunny.